welcome to this video tutorial which will focus on using the checksum calculator in analyzer so before we start let's just have a look here at a session for a Toshiba air conditioning unit and as you can see we have signals of various lengths 144 bits, 160 bits, 112 bits and this is a very unusual protocol in that it has uh, various signals of differing, differing lengths. You can see at the top that the signal is pretty standard except that it has two bursts with two headers uh, included. Uh, below the signal trace you can see the ones and zeros in, in the various colors and the purple here is the head, header as is the trailer over here this is a similar uh, signal on the bottom just at a different zoom level so we will be focusing on the signals at the top here so what we're trying to do is to use the checksum calculator to um, uh, assist in identifying where the checksum is contained within this signal. Um, one thing to note is for air conditioning signals um, to get the correct byte bit orientation we need to reverse the bits within each byte so LSB8 as sh as should be clicked here uh, before commencing and this is valid for 90% plus of all air conditioning systems that we have come across. Okay, so let's get started with the checksum calculator by clicking here. And as you can see, we preloaded all of the hex values in. So why not start with the first one loaded in and it's here and here is the um, binary representation of the same signal. Okay, so typically in most systems the checksum is i would say at least in 75 percent the checksum is the last byte which is represented by the eight zero hex here so what we'll do is go over here and ignore the last one byte in our calculation and note you can ignore uh, the start x bytes or the and x bytes as well because some signals may have two checksums in them or may ignore part of the signal for a checksum so that just gives a little bit of flexibility here so if we then calculate checksum we can see immediately this is 80 and over here so there's a high probability that the checksum is an XOR uh, of all the preceding bytes in the last field now if we ignore for this only works for XOR if we ignore the last byte and run it again you'll see it goes to zero, which would be correct. Uh, normal way of, of calculating an exclusive OR. Um, another thing to note is that these fields are for bytes, so it does the operation, it calculates checksums for each byte uh, based on the various algorithms. SOM is just a straight addition. XOR is an exclusive OR. C or C is a little bit more complicated. Um, and then on the last two here we do the same thing for some an XOR based on nibbles which are 4 bits just because some protocols do that as well so essentially what we're trying to do is to uh, guess the a potential checksum and see does it match with, with, with what we're looking at here in the, in the last position so now let's move on to let's put this back again to 1 uh, over here and let's move on to the next signal in the list and as you can see again we got it here 10 and 10 or 10 hex 10 hex <coughs> uh, the decimal value is, is, is shown here and the binary value is shown here as well just for reference so it's actually in hex so let's go on a little bit further just to try yet again and okay let's see here's a shorter one here go in here so we have 04 and it's showing up again as 04 so that 
really gives us a really good um, um, confidence level that indeed the checksum is an XOR based on all the previous bytes except the last byte in the signal. So that about um, concludes it for now and uh, stay tuned for uh, more upcoming tutorials for Analyzer. Um, if you haven't uh, already got a copy you can download a demo which is restricted from the website and or you can uh, just go ahead and purchase a, a registered copy uh, straight away. So thank you for listening.